Whoa, morning guys, it is Monday morning, October day number five. I am like kind of running late. I have like three minutes to get to work. Clearly doesn't start until like eight or something, but I'm gonna rush downstairs, whatever snack I can find and make sure I have something for lunch or something. But um, it's freaking cold. I snoozed my alarm clock like twice, so I did not want to get up. Anyway, check you guys later. I know, I'm rushing. See ya, have a good day. Waking up in the middle of the night. Mom, go to work now. Say bye bye. You feel better? Do you feel better? Yeah. Okay. 45 degrees, y'all. Hey guys, I am finally leaving work. Hope you guys can hear me. I'm kind of whispering. It is dark. It's five minutes till eight. Long day. People calling off. Busy. Didn't get a chance to work on my own clinic ass in like prepping charts sometimes i feel like you guys don't know the stuff that i have to do at work but anyway it's been rough short with staff and blah 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 and i'm sick i am sick this is my yearly cold so now i'm off to get some medications as i told you abe got sick so probably gave it to me and yesterday we were out and about and it rained and I got soaked a little bit so I'm exhausted getting in the car right now I know sorry it's dark let me turn off my <sighs> it's cold this is bound to happen I just didn't think I would happen right now I was trying to be so good not to get sick. Ava did sneeze in my face a few times and you know, she's doing well actually. She's been on with her meds. And now it's my turn. <sighs> Start off with like a runny nose, drainage, lots of pressure right now. And I'm hey, just got home anyway. Got some medications. I bought like $60 worth of meds. Got some liquid meds. Got some pill form. Got some um, lollipop for Ava for in case she gets like another sore throat or cough in the future because we ran out a while back. And. <coughs> oh my gosh, I hate this. It always starts like with sinus, drainage, headache, pressure, and then. It leads to a sore throat and a cough for weeks and weeks. I hate this feeling. I don't know how it would work. But we're short staff and it, this is this is not corona, but I did not expect to get sick already. I was doing so good this whole year. Even in the summertime, I usually get sick when it gets really hot all of a sudden. I didn't. And then now this, it got really cold right away. Like over the weekend, it was freezing for us. <laughs> so and my since it's been so cold the light on the tires is on and i was already warned that i need new tires but you know every time the light goes on i just go put air in it but today i was like i don't have the energy it's dark oh my god my boogers are coming out it's dark that's what my step has to do for me i'm like i'm glad to move to buy new tires right now so uh, I took Tylenol twice already It's supposed to take every 6 hours That's why I took Last night, this morning And then again around lunchtime <sighs> I've been working since 7am I left the house around like what 6 o'clock uh, I'm definitely going to go in early Tomorrow if I can I hope tomorrow I'll feel better My mom is making me this lemon honey drink so i'm gonna take a long shower not sure if i will vlog much but where are we it's vlog October day number five already guys isn't that crazy hope you guys are all safe out there and not catching a cold like may miss ava i walk in she's like i'm not sick no more i'm like yeah because you gave it to me she is so good like than most kids have been around like when she's sick she knows that she just take meds and she asks to take it. Like, she's so easy when it comes to any medication. She's, she's such a good kid. Versus me, when I was little, I was screaming Bloody Mary. Like, my mom has grabbed me and pinned me down to take any kind of medication. So, 
kudos to my little soon to be five year old. Anyway, I'm so fed up with lazy people. I'm so fed up with hiring lazy people. I don't know. I'm just surrounded by lazy people at work. I just don't get it. Why do they keep coming? Why are they giving giving a chance to work? When there's people out there who really want a job and can't get a job because of these lazy bitches taking over. Like, if you want to work, get the fuck out of here. Go elsewhere. Go where you usually belong. Go where you're, you fit in. I mean, I'm so sick of these people that don't care about others but themselves and are very selfish and are not very mindful of you calling off all the freaking time you as i was saying the same people always calling off every freaking time last minute and knowing that it's gonna affect somebody you know when you have a job you have full responsibility yes your family or your personal issues comes first but also when you have a job that should be also your priority. If it's affecting others, then you're a fucking ass selfish bitch who don't know what having responsibility is. And I'm tired of it. Just because you have a child don't mean you're grown, don't mean you're mature, and don't mean you know what having adult responsibilities are. And, oh, like, oh, gosh. I'm done. I'm going to take a shower, but this is the shit I have to deal with. And I continue to go through this. If it's not this one, it's another one. Because people are just so desperate to hire people last minute and never realize how much it messes up people that actually do their job, that actually take pride in their job and work their ass off. And most of the time, 99% of the time, never get noticed. Or the ones that are, are burnt out. But the ones that are popular, who talk a lot of shit, and are feisty, and blah, 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 and are intimidating, they get known. They get noticed. They get praised. And if you have that title, and you're a lazy-ass one, you still get praised, because you have that title to back you up. And most of the time, you can be a bitch, and get have a title, everyone respects you. But when it's mine, no one gives a shit. So, it's nothing new. It is nothing new. If I was lead, if I was management, a lot of people would have been fired by now. But at the same time, I'm still blessed for my job. And I'm still blessed to be able to get a paycheck. And that's my second reminder. Go home, get a paycheck. And loving what I do is taking care of my patients and making sure my providers are happy. But not everyone thinks that way. That's the problem. You got a lot of selfish bitches out there i'm going to take a shower i'm irritated but you know what every single time i'm telling you that karma that karma every single person has fucked me over at work or whatever that karma has creeped up on them it might not be right away but it does it does sit down and think about all the fucked up things that have happened to your life personal or not or around you think about it and with me nothing extreme has happened because god knows buddha knows how hard i've worked and have dealt with this kind of bullshit years and years so <sighs> taking a shower now that's my rant for the day it's hot water lemon and honey porridge with some meat on the side yeah this is what i go to and i don't feel good I look a hot mess. Just had dinner. It was so good. I can still have, I can still taste my food. I'm actually gonna eat that tomorrow too. Might scare some people at work or get looks, but whatever. Um, cause I don't think I'm gonna enjoy any other food besides that when I'm sick. <sighs> and I can't take any more meds because I took my Tylenol twice today. And it's every six hours, so I'm trying not to like overdose myself. So I bought a bunch of meds from CVS. I got the generic brand because it's so freaking expensive. But I got a pill form and then I got a liquid form. Flu and day day flu and night flu. Something like that. But all the symptoms that I'm having. Oh. have like such bad size pressure right now. I don't know if I'm over exaggerating. I feel like this is the worst I've ever had it. And God forbid it's not that. But. <sighs> 
but I'm sure Ava sneezed. Ugh. Ava sneezed in my face a few times, and I ate her leftover burger, and that was the day she was starting to get sick. I should have... Uh, I just... I should have known better, but I still did anyway. And then yesterday, I had grabbed some more stuff for Ava after um, the Franklin Conservatory. And it started to rain all of a sudden. It hit me and then trying to get Ava in the house. So I'm the one that got hit with the rain and got a little bit soaked. And, you know, it got really windy and stuff like that. I'm sure everything just kind of got together and gave me this cold. But, okay, I'm going to end this vlog <sighs> Check you guys later. Check you guys tomorrow. I want this to be gone. So this weekend, I'm going to chill and stay home, I think. All right, bye. Peace.